Hey, this is Amir. This is Travis. And you're watching the new Rincon. Today, we're gonna talk about the most important photograph ever taken. Yeah. Right? I think so. That's what some say. Yeah. What is it? It's an image by the Hubble telescope, and it's called the Hubble Deep Field. The Hubble Ultra Deep Field. Okay. There was the Hubble Deep Field, and now there's the Hubble Ultra Deep Ultra Field. Ultra Deep Field. Yeah. The universe is 78 billion light years across. This is something we learned from the Hubble telescope. So the Hubble Ultra Deep Field happened when, in 1995, the Hubble telescope was pointed at an area of sky that was thought to be empty. To your naked eye. Yeah, well, even to other telescopes that had existed before the Hubble. Okay, sure. Yeah, pointed at an area that had no stars and left it open, the shutter open for 11 days. And they got this image with of 10,000 galaxies. And in each galaxy, there's an average of 1,500,000 000 million stars. That is <laughs> In each galaxy, possibly more. Right, that is a lot of stars. The universe is inconceivably huge, even bigger than science had proven it was. Right. That, that's not even the end of it. That's right. That's just, that's that's just right. what we know so far, right? Yeah. So, another interesting thing that's about this image is that you know that as you look out in space you're, and you look at things great distances away, you're looking backwards in time. Because yeah. it takes a while for the light to reach what you're looking at to get to you. And that time has elapsed, so the light that you're seeing might have been produced uh, billions of years ago. Right. The farther out in space you look, the farther back in time you're seeing, because it takes that light longer to get to your eye. Right. So as they build these telescopes that look farther and farther and farther into the universe, eventually they're going to get to the end of the beginning of time. And, and the, the thing about this ultra deep field image is it's close. It's very close. These are the first galaxies that were formed ever after the Big Bang. So, next innovation in telescopes, we're going to be looking at the beginning of time. We're going to be looking at the Big Bang. The Big Bang. So, is it possible that some of those galaxies don't even exist anymore? Yes. Oh, none of them do. Oh, okay, none of them. Everything's changed. That was billions of years ago. That is fascinating. Yeah. Fascinating. <laughs>